Okay, so for this problem, Jeff deposits 10 into a fund today. So let me get my pencil. So, oh, sorry. Okay, so 10 in a deposit in today and then 20, 15 years later. So interest for the first 10 years is credited at a nominal discount rate of the compounded quarterly. So we're gonna have to take the initial deposit of 10 and then we're gonna multiply it by one minus uh, D four. And since we're using a discount rate and we're accumulated, we're gonna have to make the exponents negative. If we were to use this to find the present value, we would have to make the exponent positive. So now, it, it, it is occurring within 10 years and it's compounding quarterly. So the exponent that we're dealing with on this rate is negative 40. Um, and then thereafter a nominal interest rate of 6% compounded semi-annually. So we do 6% divided by two, which is 0 0.03 plus one. So it's 1.03. Another thing is that this part ends at 10. And once it ends at 10, in all, there are 30 years as well. So uh, once this ends, um, and then thereafter, a nominal interest rate of 6% uh, convertible semi-annually. So that would mean that we would have to take the time of two times 20, which is 40. So in all, initial deposit of 10, this rate ends at a 10 year period and thereafter at a nominal interest rate of 6% combated semi-annually for the amount of years left. So another thing is that there's another deposit of 20 that we have to handle in that we assume that this rate also applies to the, the 20 deposit as well. So from the time 20 is deposited, uh, how many, how much time has elapsed? 15. So 15 times two, which is 30. Then we set this whole thing equal to 100. Now, where we want to solve for D. Okay, well, let's simplify. We know that uh, 1.03 to the 40th power is uh, 3.2627 uh, times 10, which is 32.620. times this. Another thing is that there is this one, so. Which would equal 48.54. 5, 2, et cetera. This whole thing equals to 100, right? So we would, I, we should put this to the other side. So 100 minus this would be 51.45475. Um, another thing is that we have this part. So we'll divide that value by 32.62037, and then we'll get 1.57738. So we will have this left. We can take this to the other side. So 
Well, we're going to have to make this exponent positive. So let's make this a fraction of 1 over the whole thing. We'll take this to the other side. My multiplying, we could also take this to the other side. So we'll have to do 1 divided by 1.57738. Then we get rid of the exponent by taking that value, square root, and um, making the exponent 1 out of 40. Then we move the 1 to the other sign. We subtract 1, negative 0 0.001013. 0, 1, 1, then we take this negative value, divide by uh, negative 1. Then we multiply by 4. And we end up getting 0 0.04531785 as the answer, which is closest to value C.